Yeah, welcome to this video. Yet another blitz video, and uh, I play e4, four change, and uh, knight c6. Yeah, there's probably not uh, nothing better than knight f3, and this is um, okay. This is a bit strange. Not quite sure what black is aiming for. Now we got a French with um, somewhat strange uh, piece placement with black not being able to play c5 okay this is the idea he wants to wants to get in uh, b6 and uh, long castles quickly so um hmm. yeah what is my general idea here i can try to play for um, f4 f5 I can uh, also just um, yeah probably just a uh, complete development rook e1 prepares knight f1 g3 something like this and I'd like to um, to do something on the queen side if he castles long but first uh, he should castle long before I play b4 all right so knight to g3 or not sure. This knight can be very useful on the on the queen side as well. Okay, I'll play a little little waiting move here. I want to play before, but only if he castles long. Really, he could switch back to short castle. Then those moves are a bit of a non-issue they they didn't do much a3 and rook b1 but also didn't uh, didn't hurt and if he castles long then b4 and everything's is fine i'd like for instance to play long castles b4 and then knight to b3 on b3 it would uh, always cover c5 so that you never can play c5 and i have those ideas of knight to to c5 then as a yeah exactly this b4 knight b3 knight c5 this is a very typical um way to play this all right so he's um preparing f6 it seems so let's uh, let's go here um or let's 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 just uh, think think a bit if he plays f6 i, I have bishop f4 as a as an answer I can also play knight b3 f6 b5 so that he um yeah this looks uh, rather good here actually okay come on uh, this this is good here because knight c5 is uh, is an idea this uh, kind of sacrifice it would open up the b file and um, and give me some some nice attack if everything else is coordinated of course i cannot just simply uh, sacrifice this piece this is um, interesting. Well, g4 is not really an option for him. I mean, I'm not quite sure what this is doing. Okay, I can go for a4, a5 also. I'm really not sure what this move is doing. I mean, g4, I can just retreat or even play knight h4. Yeah, okay, G4, I can just uh, just retreat. Doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. Okay, what it does is um, it uh, gives him some square, only seven, but okay, A5 was uh, on the agenda anyway. I need to take care about uh, the clock time, of course. I spent um, quite some time on this. The question is, should I play knight f1, knight f1, e3, or is this knight better placed um, potentially on b3 later? So that um, 
I don't really need to play knight f1. Hmm, okay. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Okay. I don't want to um, spend so much time. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't really mind to exchange this. Okay, the rook is uh, potentially good on the a file. Doesn't do much on b1. This knight c5 is uh, not really an option anymore after he shows his intention to move the king. So b5 and rook a7, is this, uh, this a possibility? I've, uh, this is also an idea. Just taking on f5 and knight d3 to f4. Okay, he allows this. So. Yeah, preventing knight e6 for the moment. Now I'm attacking d5 also. f5 is also weak. This uh, looks um, yeah, basically lost for black. I cannot really see how he defends all those weak spots and uh, bad pieces. Yeah, okay, can can. Um, h3 just g3 and g3 just h3 so there is simply no attack and f5 is uh, I don't know, not defensible and h3 it's all nicely covered you can go rook uh, to h4 but simply this one and next move uh, knight f5 Yeah, I thought queen takes f5 would be possible. Knight f4, rook f4. Uh, this was the phone. Okay, I hope this doesn't blunder piece. Then the guy on the other end is uh, is guilty of spoiling my game. <laughs> So uh, g3 is hanging. Okay, yeah, okay. Let's just bring the rook back and put it here. This is uh, simple, but I think sufficient. Grab the material and and run. <laughs> he still has got uh, a bad bishop and a bad king. Ah, oh, e6 I could have played. Okay, but this is uh, this is rather easy now. D5 and then I pick up e4. I could have taken immediately even. Yeah, yeah, I think um, you can play like this. I, I mean, it's it's not uh, super terrible, but it's rather passive for black. I mean, this always uh, white simply has a very nice space advantage, and it's not clear where black's counterplay is uh, is coming from. 
if you um, look at this and uh, would, you would just um, think of this as a mirror image of a King's Indian, yeah, with uh, B4 being G4 in the King's Indian, yeah, black has castled long, but you would castle short in the King's Indian and it would have the fianchetto with G6 and Bishop G7, it's just the same like here. And uh, black has never got F5. This would be C5 in this position. And uh, I mean, where where exactly is uh, is black's play? If he cannot play uh, C5, the only kind of play is F6. But this uh, always re just weakens uh, on the E file. So black is just um, condemned to a sit and wait uh, position, more or less. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching.